Hey guys, Mr. Heo here. Um, so we've moved on to lesson 1.6, explaining surface water and rain in Gale Town. So throughout all of this, I'm not sure if I made it clear, but you guys are student meteorologists um, and we're getting closer to an understanding of what caused Gale Town to have more severe rainstorms. You gotta look at some data because we've gotten some new data um, from Dr. Emerson. Using the data, you're gonna create two different models of different storms that happened in Gale Town, one before the lake, and one after the lake. Um, then you're gonna use this information to write to the citizens and explain what is causing the rainfall in Gale Town. So rooting us kind of back and what we're doing and why we're doing all of this, our unit question is why do some rainstorms have more rain than others? Chapter one, and this is our last lesson of chapter one. So this is the lesson, um, this is the question that we're gonna be answering um, in our lesson today, which is what caused um, causes the rainfall rainfall in Gale Town. We've got um, we've we've learned four key concepts along the way um, in our other lessons. So when liquid water becomes warmer, it can evaporate and become water vapor in the air. All air contains water. When water vapor in an air parcel cools, it can condense into liquid water, which can form a cloud. Um, and fall as rain. Um, energy transfers from warm air to cold air until their temperature becomes equal. And the more an air parcel loses energy and cools, the more rainfall can happen. So let's get started. All right, so we're gonna look at our warm up. We've got a, a memo from Dr. Kenji Amerson, um, and it's about the data um, about the rainfall in Gale Town. So we've put together this data table for you. It has data about the amount of rain from Gale Town's recent storms. It also includes information about the amount of surface water in Gale Town. Remember, local surface water is all of the water that is at the surface and that can evaporate, including water from the lake. So before the lake had low surface water, right? Because there was no, there was, there was um, not a lake there to to give water to evaporate, and so the amount of rain was mild. Storm two. Um, this was after the lake. There was a high amount of surface water, um, a moderate storm, right? That was that that three, no, that two to three maybe. Um, and then the severe was that three to four. And then the very severe must be that four. Um, so one of the claims that is used to explain um, the severe rainstorm, rainstorms in Gale Town is this. The lake that was built near Gale Town caused it to have more severe rainstorms. Do you think the lake is affecting the amount of rain in Gale Town? So I don't know about you, but I'm thinking about everything that we saw and we looked at the um, changes in um, surrounding air and um, air parcels. And then we also looked at rainfall, um, or I'm sorry, the amount of water vapor. And so I think that if there was the lake put in, and if you look, like it went from mild to moderate to severe, then it probably was that lake. But these three are all after the lake, and there's moderate, severe, and very severe. So it's definitely the lake. So you know what? I'm 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 choosing it. It's definitely yes. It's de it was definitely the lake. All right. So using evidence from the table above, that's what I just did, right? So like mild six centimeters, then after the lake, the amount of rain doubled just in one storm. And then like it was almost three times and then it was like five times the amount. So like it definitely was the lake. All right. So 